What's up YouTube? We've got a fairly interesting day planned. I'm going to do a little bit of on-the-fly dieting. Um, I'm actually going to use the If It Fits Your Macro style of dieting. Not to the extent like I'm not going to be eating Pop-Tarts and shit, but um, I'm going to kind of wing it. I haven't pre-made meals, so we're just going to go fly by the seat of our pants. You guys can see that. Find all kinds of good trout worms. These are perfect size for what we're going to be doing. All right, guys, we're in the location now. As you can tell, we're just off the highway. Secret spot. I can't actually show you where it is. Um, but this is the brush that we're hiking through. So we're going to hike through this for a little while. Uh, then we go down into a valley and then the stream itself is in that valley. Should be pretty good fishing as long as no one else has got to it. It's a small body of water so it gets fished out easy. I'll keep you guys updated. So the final part, you can probably hear the water in behind us. The stream is just like right there. I can just see glimpses of it. The final part of our descent is that. I don't know if you guys can tell how steep that is, but this is horizontal up here. So it's like, I don't know, it's probably close to like a 45 degree angle. Um, so I'm going to go down first. I'll get Jess to film me. There's a bunch of ice on the way down too, so uh, hopefully I don't fall and die. Hopefully, I will see you guys at the bottom. Yeah, we'll get it on film either which way. All right, guys, I'm gonna help her down. All right, so we made it to the bottom, both of us. I was much more graceful at it. She was a graceful gazelle, and I was a lumbering ogre. But here, I'll show you guys. There's what we climbed up. So, here's where the stream is. Looks like there's a lot of water bumping through it. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a good spot. Water doesn't look muddy, though, so that's a good thing. guys we made it out of the woods it was a bit of a death march on the way out the snow is starting to soften up a little bit and we were falling like every five steps pretty sure I broke my leg about five times <laughs> approximately five times so nothing too bad I'm sure I'll heal up eventually uh, but now we're gonna go probably eat something and then head to the gym it's about uh, it's almost two o'clock so we can get to the gym before they close okay. all right so we only live like seconds walk from a pretty nice little trout spot and it's kind of like my my backup spot I've caught a trout here on the first day of the season since I was like six so this is my last ditch effort I've never not caught a trout on the first day of the season so uh, this is my last ditch effort to catch one we'll see what happens yeah 
actually getting bites this time. That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Freak yeah, I mean. <laughs> this is what we've been after all day. Gorgeous little fish. I don't want to keep them out of the water too much. I've already not handled them particularly well. First fish of the year for me always goes back in the water. All right, if I catch another one, he's toast. I'm gonna eat him tonight. Guys. A little bit muddy, but... Uh... A little bit muddy. Beautiful fish. I'm not going to show killing it, but I am going to go home and eat this within about an hour. And see, even with the mud, absolutely gorgeous. Pretty skinny fish, but he's been in there all winter, so what can you expect? Alright guys, so we're going to finish this thing off humanely, bring him on back, and eat him. Alright, so we caught another little trout off camera. Uh, Jesse decided that she wanted some too, so we cut another one. Uh, it seemed like we could probably just catch them all day there. There was a lot of them in that little hole. But uh, I think we're going to cook these up within the next hour or so. Um, I apologize for the shakiness. My delts are killing me right now. Um, but we're going to cook these up within the next hour or so. They'll be super, super fresh. I'll show you how I cook them and how I work them into my macros. So stay tuned, guys. since we caught these fish, so they're still nice and fresh. I've kept them on ice ever since. Uh, so I've got them clean, gutted out, beheaded. I'm gonna start out with just some onions and some butter in the frying pan. Get that going, brown the onions, and then we're gonna throw our trout in there. And I'm probably like a medium heat, somewhere around there. Chopped up onions, and about, and I just wing it when it comes to this. And so about half a tablespoon of butter. So as that starts to melt and get going, we're going to come back to our fish. And just when that heats up, we're going to lightly salt them. But if you do this, it kind of crisps up. It's really tasty. A little bit of pepper on both sides. And then if you want to get semi-fancy with it, We've got some thyme, goes very well with the trout, just a little bit of powdered sage, it's kind of a nice flavor, goes very, very well with trout and a lot of other, you can go well with salmon and stuff like that. Now, you really don't have to do this, this is just getting borderline gourmet about it. A quarter of a tablespoon of butter, right into the body cavity of the trout, you can see I'm going to put it right into the body cavity itself and kind of mush it in there and that just basically allows it to seep out as the trout cooks keeps it really moist not the trout are really they, they don't really dry out especially with nice small fish like this you're cooking them pretty quick uh, but it just gives lots of good flavor and I've got lots of fats left in my macros for the day so I can swing this all right, so we're gonna let those onions brown up and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right guys, so the onions are starting to brown up nicely, so we're gonna bring our trout over here. So, pan's nice and hot, of course. We're just gonna lay these bad boys right in here. You're gonna see they're gonna kinda move around quite a bit, and that's kind of a sign of freshness when it comes to trout. I'm gonna go grab that pepper and salt. So these ones have been on ice for a little while, so they tend to move a little bit less when you do that. But uh, if you take them straight from the river to pan, man, they curl right up in a ball and get kind of irritated. So, just going to lightly salt them once again. So really we don't want to overcook these at all. Uh, we just want to get the skin nice and crisp, and you'll see the meat will start to flake away. It's nice flaky meat. And once it starts to come away from the bone, you usually get a split down the back and the skin. Yeah, there you go. They're starting to curl up a little bit. Like I said, 
say that's a sign. If you ever buy fish from the supermarket or anything like that and they start to curl up, then maybe you've got a good supermarket. It makes it kind of difficult to cook them, but oh well. I'm actually just going to cook these with my hands because it's the easiest way to do it. So, we're just really trying to crisp up all sides of it. You can see the skin is starting to come off already, so it's getting nice and crispy. We're just going to get everything nice and crispy, make sure it's well cooked. We've got some baked potatoes in the oven, which should be nice and ready. So we're going to figure out how much baked potato I can have. I've got quite a few carbs left in my macros. I haven't eaten a whole lot today. Um, we're going to fit this trout in. We don't have a whole lot for veggies. Unfortunately, this house is somewhat uh, veggie-less at the current moment. So uh, it'll probably just be meat and potatoes. Cla classic Irish from the food. But well, it looks like our trout's nicely done. You can see it's starting to come apart a little bit. Skin's starting to come off it. So I've got my baked potatoes. I've got 9.5 ounces of baked potato. I've got 30 grams, actually it was 26 grams of uh, light cheese. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on there. So, that trout on there. That one for Jesse. And that will be catch and cook for trout. So I'm going to weigh this out, tell you how much trout it is. I'm going to take it all off the bone. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like before it looks all screwed up off the bone. But I'm going to take it off the bone and then weigh it and then that will be how I factor my macros. Alright guys, total cows for that meal was 531. Uh, I will put the macros up right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's content. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, share it. Whatever you think will help me out. I really appreciate your guys' support, and stay tuned for the next episode. And until next time, guys, stay strong.